The new BMW R1100 RS. A dream now in production. The documentation. For more than 70 years now, the BMW Boxer engine has been synonymous with four things. Freedom on two wheels, an individual sense of travel, the traditional robust engineering, and classic riding enjoyment. Over these 70 years, the demands made on motorcycles have become more and more sophisticated. What was once just a means of getting from A to B is now a sports leisure enterprise, but the boxer has remained on the scene unchanged. A veteran turned performance motorcycle. We've now arrived at the next threshold, a new era of the motorcycle. A tremendous challenge for BMW. Nothing less than the reorientation of the motorcycle market of the future. The development of the new Boxer. The market has set out its demands on the motorcycle of the future. Make no mistake, it will have to be environment friendly and economical. Offer enhanced active safety. Express individuality and adapt to the rider's ergonomic requirements and provide a top quality individual means of transport. In other words, after 70 years of successful motorcycling history, a new BMW flat twin is to be created that will possess an attractive design, a dynamic performance, and outstanding driving capabilities. But most importantly, it has to embody joy and freedom on two wheels. The Boxer was born instilled with this attraction when almost 70 years ago, Max Fritz designed the prototype for all subsequent BMW Boxers, the R32. He thus wrote the first chapter in the Boxer's impressive history. The highlights of which have remained unforgotten to this day. 1928, the R62 goes into production, BMW's very first 750cc engine. 1937 sees a sensational speed record on the BMW 500cc compressor boxer, just under 175 miles per hour. Ernst Tenner is to stay the fastest man on two wheels for an amazing 14 years. And at the same time, Schorsch Meyer is notching up victory after victory for BMW. 1951, during this austere post-war period, the emphasis is on routine day-to-day -day transport. The R1-53 proves itself with only 24 HP, an impressive 18,000 times. 1952, the legendary R68, the fastest mass-produced model of its age, appears on the scene. One of the few 100 milers, its engine boasts a mere 35 bhp. Nineteen sixty, a total of thirty six thousand R fifty stroke two and R sixty stroke two models run off the production line. In a mere nine years, BMW has doubled its manufacture. Nineteen seventy three, this year sees a breakthrough on the speed performance front. The R ninety S with BMW's first nine hundred cc flat twin engine. Nineteen seventy six. The BMW R100 RS with 1,000 cc and 70 horsepower is the first motorbike ever with standard fitting full fairing tested in a wind tunnel, setting the norm for generations of motorcycle riders. 1980, once again BMW lays down motorcycling law with the first enduro in the world to boast more than 500 cc. The competition version of the GS model wins no less than four titles at the Paris Dakar Rally under the toughest conditions. And, needless to say, it's a big winner with the public. 1992. Even after almost 70 years, the Boxer engine is showing no signs of fatigue. 
BMW lands another coup with the stylish classic R100R Roadster. Completely attuned to contemporary tastes, it's the best-selling model of the year, the BMW Boxer engine, forever young. But there's no denying that times do change, as well as the requirements made on our environment, our traffic systems, and our means of travel. A challenge to the motorcycle of the future. A challenge to the BMW Boxer. In fact, the Boxer has always provided what motorcyclists are now increasingly looking for. Character, individuality, something different from the competition, offering advantages over other motorcycle engines. It's the only two-cylinder that does not need a balancer shaft to reduce inertia stress. The cylinder design assures the rider of high passive safety. The low center of gravity, the result of horizontal cylinder layout, guarantees unrivaled handling. Because of the way the cylinders lie in the slipstream, they're air-cooled perfectly. Superfluous construction weight is thus reduced. Installed in line for the direct flow of power to the flanged on gearbox, the crankshaft minimizes on energy-absorbing transmission systems. And last but not least, due to the excellent accessibility of its components, the twin-cylinder engine is easier to service than any other of its kind. A boxer is a boxer by no other name, and boxer means BMW, and that's how it's going to be in the future. In fact, the future began three and a half years ago, because that's precisely how long designers, engineers, technicians, assembly workers, test drivers, and quality assurance experts have been working on the new BMW flat twin. Almost four whole years modeling, modifying, rejecting, improving, and testing. And retesting. This is not merely a story about the development of any motorcycle. It's the genesis of the forerunner to a new BMW generation. The R1100 RS. The idea for a new motorcycle is usually conceived by those it will subsequently inspire, the motorcyclists themselves. It's their joint experience, wishes and suggestions that form the basis for the concept of a new machine. That idea slowly takes shape on the design engineer's drawing board. A new boxer is to come into being a pioneering motorcycle based on the BMW flat twin concept that stood the test of time since 1923. Having immersed themselves in the development brief, each member of the project team is fully aware of what needs to be done. All the requirements made of the new motorcycle are laid down to the very last detail. The year is 1989. It's no easy task for the BMW designer to translate the technical possibilities of a new motorcycle into reality. After all, four years will pass before it gets its official premiere. And the design has to stay contemporary in the years after that. Detailed knowledge of the market is called for, not to mention creativity and vision. The first step is always the most difficult. Preliminary designs of the new engine are sketched in. And then of the cylinders. The telelever. The cover. At the same time, the bodywork designer is allowing his imagination to run free. What would it look like, the final R1100 RS styling? But these paper games will soon come to an end. Firm concepts are beginning to take shape. A sensitive touch is indispensable at the birth of the motorcycle's heart, the engine. The engine cover fits perfectly. Nor does the assembly of the alternator, starter motor, 
and drive unit pose any problems. And here it is, the new flat twin engine. What, not running yet? Well, yes, but at least we know what it looks like. Other parts are, of course, being developed as well. The telelever, for example. It's this device which is responsible for the R1100 RS's outstanding road stability and wonderful handling. The guiding of the fixed pipes in Teflon slider bushings and the use of a unique central spring strut make for an incredibly sensitive front wheel damping response, the like of which has never been felt before. The beneficial result of the special component layout is a very effective anti-dive system. More and more components of the new motorcycle gradually emerge. The running gear is dimensioned. After repeatedly seeing the BMW R1100 RS in picture and scale model form, there now comes the chance for a hands-on model. The first model you can actually feel, made from a special type of clay. But even at this stage of development, dry theory is still on the agenda. Designers, quality engineers and modelers have to meet frequently with a view to coordinating requirements. Yeah. At this point, something unparalleled in the entire history of motorcycle development occurs. It's at this early stage in the proceedings that the luggage rack is test-fitted, so that the future motorcycle loaded will also demonstrate perfect road-holding ability. An entire group of specialists are exclusively engaged on the development of R1100 RS accessories. For instance, here they're elaborating an absolute novelty for series-produced motorcycles, an optional extra sporting the name Personalized Ergonomics. The idea is this. If windscreen, handlebars and seat can all be adjusted, the motorcycle itself will adjust to the rider, which is obviously better than the other way around. Whatever the task, rule number one is complete accuracy. Which is why all measurement data are compiled and processed by computer. With details constantly improved. And now the CAD designers swing into action. They've entered all the measurements taken from the manually operated models into their computers. Again and again, individual parts are revised and all possible permutations are played through. Likewise, the installation of a part can be simulated, as can the preliminary function trials. Whether it's a question of engine cover or of overall bike structure, details can be obtained at the press of a button. The results of all this twisting and turning are then tested on the reference model. At the beginning of 1990, the first reference models get to see the big wide world in BMW's own wind tunnel. The figures here are an expression of good riding qualities and low petrol consumption. Whether the values displayed are good or bad is a teamwork decision. It's the middle of 1990. In the FIZ, BMW's state-of-the-art research and engineering center in North Munich, the new motorcycle engine is in for a very hard time. Trials on the engine test rig. On the test rig, the prototype is subjected to a thorough examination. And then the moment we've all been waiting for, engine startup. How will it respond? The torque is increasing. The manifolds are beginning to glow already. Here too, the computer is an indispensable tool. Even these preliminary trials indicate that there is a sound basis for further engine optimization and Motronic interaction. The service-friendly Motronic, that unique digital engine management system, boosts the performance, responsiveness and reliability of the engine, not to mention the fact that it also reduces fuel consumption. There's another benefit for the environment too. Motronic deployment is the prerequisite for the installation of a three-way catalytic converter, which will be available as an optional extra for the new Boxer engine. 
A further test element, the new flat twins breathing system. With four valves per cylinder, the system ensures that an efficient exchange of gases ensues in the cylinder. It improves performance and torque. And at the same time, it considerably reduces fuel consumption. Early 1991, and it was not possible for the new boxer to make its maiden trip on native soil. The weather wasn't permitting. So off to southern Europe we go. Top of the test agenda is the second generation ABS. A good disguise is half the secret of success. After all, you can never be sure that paparazzi aren't lurking in the bushes. But would you suspect the new BMW boxer in this K-series get-up? When it's a matter of on-the-road safety, as here with the BMW ABS2, extreme precision is the order of the day. This control device, built into the test machine, compiles all the data relevant to the braking process. The finishing touches, and then for the test specimen, it's chocks away. The first braking action. A successful first attempt on asphalt and sand. And finally, an emergency stop. Closely checked, monitored, discussed, and improved. However, as is so often the case during trials, problems do crop up, meaning that the measurement devices have to be reprogrammed. This computer has had enough already, despite only a short test run, but a replacement is close at hand. Never mind, even the competition has its problems. The colleagues at BMW's Berlin plant will ensure that the trial results are incorporated into the next test models. This time, the destination is the south of France. The experts refer to this stage as construction phase two endurance testing. The test bike is going to be really put through its paces. By the way, our specimen is looking better, don't you think? Still a long way off from the final styling, though. A long, long trip through this splendid vineyard scenery. Made it. We've arrived at the test site. Check, check, and check again. Before each and every run, the technicians check every single part on the new motorcycle as thoroughly as possible. And then we're off again. Will our customers be happy with the fuel consumption rates? How many tires will the new machine need in continuous service? All the data is scrupulously recorded. The test drivers do lap after lap on the motorcycle as its components gradually get ready to go into production. A change of scene, the Berlin factory. The new boxer has absorbed its dry run on the test rig. Here you can see the latest evaluations being printed. Provided the individual engine components are all compatible with one another, the project can move on to the next phase, the cast moulds for pilot production. The first cast can be made. Meanwhile, there's a whole lot of measuring, fitting, and welding going on as the components are molded for the motorcycle bodywork. Non-stop modification. We now find ourselves in the Holy of Holies, the prototype room where all the components at the latest level of development have been brought together. This prototype room is assured of frequent visits, since the new experimental vehicle is available to all those involved on the project but no one else. Since so many new experiences are being gathered, consultations between designers, technicians, and quality engineers are no rarity. Bit by bit, the various components reach their final form. Trial run of the brake test rig.
The mechanic here is giving the brake disc a thorough examination. From the control room, watched by eyes as sharp as an eagle's, the disc is closely examined for resistance to stress. Elsewhere, the new boxer is receiving its new outfit. Tailor-made, of course. The trim meeting takes place the following day. All of the departments participating in the new boxer project report back on latest developments. Sometimes, all at once. The moment of truth. The prototype is presented to the management. To all-round relief, the reaction is a positive one. <laughs> and now at last, the machinery can roll into action. First of all, the basic parts are needed for pilot production. Things are a bit hectic in the workshop. The endurance test bikes are already behind schedule. It's summer 1991. Time for the TÜV acceptance trials. That's the German Technical Control Authority. The new boxer gets the legal go-ahead. And for the first time, the project name becomes official. R259. Now's the chance for the boxer to breathe some mountain air constantly up and down during these mountain trials in France. Out in all types of weather, under all kinds of driving conditions. Being a test driver for BMW is not always a dream job. In the comfort of their warm laboratories, the color designers are much less exposed to the elements. A certain clairvoyance is required here. After all, would you be able to predict what the in colors will be in 1993? This color, perhaps? Or this one? Mixing and stirring. It's a bit like a witch's brew. It's not just a question of fashionable appearance. These tests are important for the ultimate durability. In fact, the entire paint spectrum is subjected to a lot of punishment. Did you know what the Florida test is? Answer, a test for light fastness or how often the paint has to pass the salt spray test. All in all, it's quite a long process before the color range is finalized. The first high point in the life of the BMW R1100 RS occurs in December 1991. The prototype is accepted by the management and given its final go-ahead. A little suspense is never amiss. And now, proudly presenting, the concept model is placed next to it for purposes of immediate comparison. Another successful BMW motorcycle. We're now in the final sprint. April 1992, and work on the pilot production run is fully underway. First step is the construction of the production line in the FIZ pilot works in Munich. The assembly sequences that will eventually operate in the Berlin plant are first set up, tested and optimized here, until everything's just perfect. To do justice to the highest possible demands on quality, BMW has installed a separate assembly line in the Berlin plant and completely reorganized work practices. The consequences were far-reaching. Selected workers underwent special training for production of the R1100 RS and are deployed exclusively on the assembly of the new Boxer models. Furthermore, the BMW Motorcycle Division has introduced teamwork on the assembly line with individualized productivity. Not only that, the newly created groups are also entrusted with full responsibility for quality control. And here it is, the delivery ward of the new BMW Boxer. A video conference between Berlin and Munich. How's the part situation? Coordination talks are necessary again and again. Signs of nervousness are occasionally evident. Because time is pressing, the date for production launch has already been fixed. 
production staff are expected to constantly update their skills via in-service training at the computerized numerical control machines. In their study groups, they're constantly reminded of the one overriding principle, quality, quality, and yet again, quality. Which is also guaranteed by the final quality controls within the overall guidelines of quality assurance. And now the time has come. The production of the first BMW R1100RS. A whole has been forged from the many parts. A great day in BMW's history. The very first R1100RS rolls off the production line. More than 1,200 days of development, testing, optimizing and production have been invested in this motorcycle. A motorcycle to which the future belongs. A motorcycle heralding a new generation of flat twin engines. Twin cylinder, four valve technology with a digital engine management system. A displacement of 1,085 cc. A 95 newton meters torque at 5,500 rpm. A 66 kilowatt power output, that's 90 bhp at 7,250 rpm. A combined air and oil cooling system. High, laterally positioned camshafts. And the best possible environment technology, the three-way catalytic converter as an optional extra. A new kind of motorcycle with individualized adjustment possibilities for the windscreen, handlebars, and seat. Plus, innovative safety technology, the ABS-2 also as an optional extra. The motorcycle with the running gear design of tomorrow, today. The Telelever front wheel guide. Paralever rear wheel guide. That's the new R1100 RS, the new BMW Boxer. Dynamically active to drive, safe, environment friendly, and rider oriented. A safe bet for the future. BMW, a joy to ride. BMW R1100 RS, designed to the last detail. For more than 70 years now, the BMW Boxer has been synonymous with four things. Freedom on two wheels, an individual sense of travel, the traditional robust engineering, and classic riding enjoyment. Over these 70 years, the demands made on motorcycles have become more and more sophisticated. What was once just a means of getting from A to B is now a sports leisure enterprise. But the boxer has remained on the scene. A veteran turned performance motorcycle. The boxer has always provided what motorcyclists want. Character. Individuality. Something different from the competition, offering advantages over other motorcycle engines. It's the only two-cylinder that does not need a balancer shaft to reduce inertia stress. It boasts a cylinder design that assures the rider of high passive safety. Its low center of gravity, the result of horizontal cylinder layout, guarantees unrivaled handling. Because of the way the cylinders lie in the slipstream, they're air-cooled perfectly. Superfluous construction weight is thus reduced. Installed in line for the direct flow of power to the flanged on gearbox, the crankshaft minimizes on energy-absorbing transmission systems. And last but not least, 
due to the excellent accessibility of its components, the twin-cylinder engine is easier to service than any other of its kind. A Boxer is a Boxer by no other name, and Boxer means BMW. But there's no denying that times do change, as well as the requirements made on our environment, our traffic systems, and our means of travel. A challenge to the motorcycle of the future. A challenge to the new BMW flat twin. A completely new development, the R1100 RS. BMW has accepted this challenge from the future by redesigning the well-proven boxer engine concept. The new BMW engine has arrived. Not so much fundamentally different as fundamentally new. Twin-cylinder four-valve technology with a digital engine management system, a displacement of 1,085 cc. A 95 newton meters torque at 5,500 RPM. A 66 kilowatt power output equaling 90 bhp at 7,250 RPM. Combined air and oil cooling system. High laterally positioned camshafts. And a three-way catalytic converter as an optional extra. The latest BMW Boxer. Basically the same, but fundamentally redesigned. With new engineering components. With innovative materials and production techniques. And with outstanding technical features. Four valve technology for a distinctly improved cylinder charge. For an even more rapid exchange of gases. The result, maximum exploitation of fuel, plus a considerable increase in power and torque performance. The specially developed high camshaft four-valve control is remarkable for its narrow construction width, low weight and high strength, supreme suitability for air cooling, high stability and low noise levels. Another premiere. The new Boxer model with a combined air-oil cooling system. This guarantees high engine reliability, low noise, and a lowering of the thermal reaction effect on the cylinder heads. Result, extended intervals between servicing and longer expected engine life. The modern production techniques deployed make for unbeatable wear resistance and a prolonged active lifetime for the materials used. A few examples will suffice. Sinter cams pressed onto a nitrite steel shaft. The cylinder interiors are made of a highly rigid, wear-resistant, unusually smooth nickel-silicon alloy. The weight of the light metal cast alloy pistons has been optimized by 30%. Cracked conrods with the unmistakable precision seams. The latest BMW Boxer with the trailblazing digital engine management system. The Motronic even further advanced. The unique onboard microcomputer makes sure that fuel injection is perfect and that ignition time and angle are precision itself. All facilitated by external sensors that provide non-stop information about relevant engine operating data. Target parameters are calculated in the fraction of a second. The benefits that accrue thanks to this sophisticated engine management system are impressive indeed. A boost in engine performance due to the optimized design of the intake system. 
improved engine response owing to reduced throttle lag. Greater cost efficiency, superior fuel consumption via the new ignition parameter control. Streamlined servicing because of the electronic fault memory integrated into the Motronic. Incomparable confidence out on the road thanks to the emergency run function which provides limited engine backup even if certain components have broken down. Low fuel consumption as a result of fuel cutoff when coasting, when the throttle valve is shut and RPM are above 2000. And finally the system is virtually attrition and maintenance free. A first for the boxer, the three-way catalytic converter with the lambda probe sensor. It continually measures the oxygen level in the exhaust fumes. Thus, the Motronic can tell exactly whether the petrol mix contains too much air or too much fuel, and then induce the ideal equilibrium. Working with the Motronic system and the Lambda sensor, the BMW Flat Twins catalytic converter is the most effective way of controlling exhaust emissions. Which leads to carbon monoxide and hydrocarbons being reduced by 86%. And nitrous oxide by 80%. Advantages? Active driving enjoyment and a commitment to the environment. Even fitted with a catalytic converter, engine performance is not adversely affected, nor does fuel consumption increase. The boxer's cost efficiency and environment compatibility are superbly complemented by the two-pipe exhaust system. Noise levels remain well under the legal limit of 80 dBA. The five-speed gearbox functions with precision. Evenly graded, it exacts balanced torque performance from the engine. The advantage for the rider is unbeatable engine response in all situations on the road. Power is transmitted from the gearbox to the shaft drive directly, which means the following benefits. It's practically maintenance free. It's low on wear and therefore highly durable. Efficiency remains constant. It's non-sensitive to dirt. Extensive servicing is not necessary. The back wheel is easy to dismount. Precision attuned to the engine, the new R1100 RS's suspension system with the Telelever, a completely new front wheel guide system patented by BMW. Just one spring strut now supports the connection between the longitudinal control arm and the frame front part. The telescopic fork therefore no longer contains spring and damping elements. Only oil is to be found in the telescopic fork legs for the lubrication of the fixed tube and slider tube. They are each pivoted on a bridge between the slider tubes to a longitudinal control arm and the frame front part by ball and socket joints. Control movement of the fork is effected by the ball and socket joints at the slider tube bridge and in the front frame. These joints are clearance and maintenance free. The control arm is pivoted in the engine enclosure. The advantages of the system are an efficient anti-dive effect thanks to the special layout of the various components. Enhanced stability of the telelever as opposed to the telescopic fork, meaning greater torsional rigidity in all road conditions. Extremely high torsional resistance due to the high overlap between standpipe and slider tube. Exceptionally fine throttle response and thus greater driving comfort thanks to the use of a central spring strut. The telelever control is maintenance free for 100,000 kilometers, more than 60,000 miles. Greater riding comfort without load reversal reactions is achieved by the now established paralever device which creates the same effect as a swinging arm four and a half foot in length. The paralever not only compensates almost completely for shaft drive load reversal reactions, the list of additional benefits is similarly impressive. Little inclination to wheel patter during braking. Extra suspension comfort in all riding conditions. Increased acceleration capability due to improved traction and greater stability in the heel over position. Above all when the road surface is uneven. The BMW R1100 RS. With a brand new three part frame design, engine and gearbox form one supporting unit. 
The front frame is made of cast aluminium and mounted on the engine enclosure top. The back frame is made of steel tubing and fixed to the gearbox and engine enclosure. In this way, the entire frame system is extremely torsion resistant. The latest flat twin model from BMW is a unique combination of innovative engineering and eye-catching design. Sport touring enthusiasts expect reliable protection against all weather variations, without the bike losing any of its visual appeal and with the sporty performance and extra low weight. The R1100 RS meets these requirements, thanks to the serial frame mounted partial fairing. It's well ahead of its nearest rival standards. Partial fairing comes as a standard feature and full fairing as an optional extra. A unique combination of design, ergonomics, safety and aerodynamics. A sporty look for the R1100 RS wheels too, the light alloy three-spoke rims. Stability is provided by the U-shaped profile with the offset rim, whilst a comfortable ride is provided by reduced unsprung mass. Since R1100 RS engine power and subsequent road performance are in a word outstanding, heavy demands are placed on the braking system. At the front, disc brakes with four piston fixed calibers and angular pad wear compensation are deployed with floating double discs. Wet type fading free brake pads made of sintered metal assure the rider of top braking capability. At the rear wheel a dimensioned disc brake is used. It's in the field of safety on two wheels that above all progress does not rest. The R1100 RS now with ABS2 the logical development of the first electronically controlled ABS for motorcycles from BMW to prevent locking and wheel breakaway during sudden braking to ensure ride stability during the braking procedures and to decelerate the motorbike as safely as possible this applies in particular to wet road surfaces and sandy, gravelly terrain. In essence, the ABS-2 consists of the following components. An electromotive two-channel pressure-modulated electronic controller and ABS relays. Two sensors and two sprockets. Brake hose and cable. As a result of impulses from the RPM sensor, the ABS controller detects the danger of wheel locking and by constantly increasing or decreasing pressure within the brakes, the ABS systematically prevents the wheels from locking. The wheel is optimally held back just under the locking limit. This control process is repeated until the danger of wheel lock has been averted. Did ABS-1 need to be improved? What are the advantages of ABS-2 in comparison with ABS-1? Two questions and seven answers. One, a more compact construction better suited to motorcycles. Two, less weight. Three, an ideal position which does not affect handling. Four, the highest standards of safety thanks to three self-monitoring computers and permanent function control of all the components. Five, considerably improved control system. Six, elimination of even the most extreme braking actions. For example, rear wheel takeoff. Seven, easy servicing because of the self-diagnosis facility. Seven points that speak for the ABS2 and BMW, the innovator when it comes to safety for both motorcycle and rider. The R1100 RS, the motorcycle on course for the next century, via the deployment of the latest environment-friendly technologies and of recyclable materials. Another case of BMW setting the standards. Only clearly marked synthetics are used, whilst all parts are manufactured free of CFCs and heavy metals. The clutch linings and brake pads are made of non-asbestos materials. Even the three-way catalytic converter can be recycled. 
These measures are the consequence of BMW's rigorous environment offensive in action. Nevertheless, the motorcycle of the future must not only take safety and environment aspects into account, but also the increased lifestyle expectations of the riders. The personalized ergonomics has a very special optional extra. Windscreen, handlebars and seat can all be adjusted to the rider's individual requirements. The adjustable windscreen. The lowest position is for country road speeds, the top one for protection against the wind at high speeds. Overall range of adjustment is 20 degrees and is aerodynamically styled. The turning knob is located retractably between the instruments. Adjustable handlebars. By turning just one screw, the motorcyclist can quickly adjust to individual requirements. The adjustable seat. The seat is divided into two, and in the rider's area, the height can be adjusted by a total of 40 millimeters, 1.6 inches, to three separate levels. Overall seat height is thus variable between 780 and 820 millimeters, 30.7 and 32.3 inches. The factory fitted optional extras leave no wishes unanswered. ABS 2. Pannier holder. Luggage grid with case holder. Cylinder protection. Heated handlebar grips. Warning lights. Catalytic converter. Full fairing, etc. Info display with fuel, oil temperature and gear shift indicators and clock. Personalized ergonomics. Special accessories also available. Anti-theft alarm system. Second power socket. Pannier inner bags. Tank bag. Foam rubber grips. The new R1100RS comes standard fitted with all the important details that a motorcyclist expects of today's bike. Partial fairing for excellent weather protection and good aerodynamics. The central ignition as an integrated ignition and handlebar lock. The single key system for fuel tank, ignition, seat and handlebars. Another example of BMW user friendliness. A handy place at the back to store onboard tools and the tyre service kit. The ergonomic front brake lever is adjustable to four positions. The side stand is equipped with an automatic starter cutout. The fuel tank holds 23 litres over 5 gallons for a wide action radius. The newly developed alternator with a 700 watt output. The R1100 RS will initially be on sale in the following contemporary colours. Marrakesh Red with a charcoal coloured seat. Turquoise Metallic with a light grey seat. And Silver Pearl Metallic with a bright green seat. All the aluminium parts are silver powdered, which not only looks good, it provides better protection against oxidization. All in all, the unique product features of the new R1100 RS set it apart from its rivals in the sport tourer segment. Handling. It's simply excellent thanks to the innovative front wheel guide system telelever, working in combination with the now standard paralever and its central spring strut. Safety. With the advanced ABS-2, absolutely top of its class in terms of performance, safety and control sophistication. Environmental considerations. The BMW Boxer fitted with the three-way catalytic converter, today's most effective form of exhaust fume control. Not only that, BMW use non-toxic materials, of which virtually 100% are recyclable. Individualized ergonomics. 
The R1100 RS is the only motorcycle in the world which can be ergonomically styled to suit the rider. A whole range of optional extras. A comprehensive selection of extras and accessories gives the bike that individual touch. The engine. Optimized power and torque, a truly competitive performance. Cost efficiency. Low average fuel consumption, whereas intervals between services have been extended to 10,000 kilometers, more than 6,000 miles for long-distance travel and low-cost maintenance. This illustrates the ideal position of the R1100 RS in the increasingly popular sport touring market. To which the following features apply. On the one hand, an uncompromising sporty performance. And on the other hand, ergonomic detail, superlative tourer capability and handling ecological considerations and safety factors, the cost of ownership. In contrast to the opposition, the R1100 RS sets itself apart from the rest, thanks to its simply incomparable features. The groups who can thus be targeted are, one, BMW riders who previously rode smaller models, two, BMW riders who, in the sport touring segment, are ready for a new motorcycle. Three, previous boxer riders. Four, riders of rival performance motorcycles. Five, previous enthusiasts whose taste in terms of both design and engineering have become more sophisticated. Six, any motorcyclist who values safety and environmental aspects. All target groups that the R1100 RS will reach with such unique product advantages. At only 239 kilograms, 526 pounds fully fueled, this sport tour is the lightest in the group. With 211 kilograms, 465 pounds, its load capacity is the highest in its group. Thanks to the optional extra personalized ergonomics, seat height can be reduced to 780 millimeters, 31 inches. In other words, the BMW R1100 RS offers the lowest seat height in its class. A totally convincing factor is the excellent handling and straight driving capability. Thanks to the new telelever and the standard but now optimized paralever with the central spring strut. The R1100 RS is the only sport tourer in the world with intelligent engine control, the Motronic MA2.2. Average fuel consumption is 5.5 litres per 100 kilometres, more than 50 miles to the gallon. It can travel 400 kilometres or 250 miles without filling up. It comes equipped with the best braking technology in the business. And last but not least, the R1100 RS is one of the few sport tourers with ABS as an optional extra. But that's not all. The R1100 RS has redefined quality assurance. The production workers are specially trained for the R1100 RS. It's built on a special, separate line at the BMW plant in Berlin. Teamwork has been introduced on the production line, with the teams themselves fully responsible for organizing quality control measures and individual assembly times. All guarantees for a top quality product. The BMW R1100 RS. A motorcycle with a tremendous past and an even greater future. A motorcycle that's simply ahead of its rivals. With future-oriented solutions for enhanced safety, superior comfort, improved ergonomics, greater protection of the environment, and as a result, more active enjoyment when riding the bike. It does full justice to the motorcyclist's wishes and the requirements of a new era.